Cove in Otter Creek, Rochelle. Hey, Mallory, good afternoon to you. That fire was pretty massive. I mean, take a look. You can see what's left behind. There's crews up there already working on that home. The family tells me everything happened extremely fast. Fire crews were able to get here quick and put out those flames, and neighbors have already started to step in and help out during this time. It hurts. It's sad. It's hard for Rachel Callahan. I remember being on the phone with my sister while it was up in flames and I was telling her I was like I can't watch my childhood home burn down. This is what's left of her childhood home after 12 years. Last night's storm kept her from going to sleep. I see a flash of light and a massive boom that sounds like a bomb went off on the house. Everything happened fast. We all jumped up and uh, my wife went to look around and within just a couple of minutes I could smell smoke and so I ran upstairs uh, to get the kids and looked in the attic and there was already fires. You can see through the roof, ashes and soot on the window, police tape around the front door. Blessed, I mean, uh, um, challenged, uh, but um, just feel very fortunate and blessed. Um, that that my family's all safe. It's tough for the Callahans, but there's always something to smile about. Today's my birthday. Oh. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you. Great birthday. Definitely not how you plan to spend your birthday. Huh? Yes, but it's very memorable. Tomorrow's our anniversary, so yeah, big days. <laughs> but that's all right, because we're blessed. We're all okay. Neighbors stopping by, dropping off food, clothes, and letting them know they're here to help. It helps when you feel like you've lost everything to know that there's people who are willing to do anything for you. And the family also told me they were up since 1.30 this morning, just going through trying to see if there was anything they could save. Contractors tell me the home is not a total loss and the family plans to rebuild their new home right here in this same spot. Right now, the family is still trying to figure out where they're going to stay next. We'll be sure to keep you updated, but for now, reporting live in Little Rock, I'm Rochelle Turner. Back to you.